being here even though you can't be here in person. I appreciate you tuning in online. Uh, that piece was Side by Side by Mikio Kitazume. Uh, it's one of the first multi-percussion pieces that I really uh, found myself enjoying when listening to. And uh, a little bit about this next piece that I'm going to play. Um, while I was looking for pieces to perform on my senior recital, I went about uh, looking up vibraphone pieces, and I came across a composer by the name of Leonard Waltersdorfer. And he has quickly become one of my favorite composers for percussion music. I hope you like his composition, Dinner for Two. Thank you. Next, I'll be performing for you a couple of pieces out of Elliot Carter's uh, Eight Pieces for Timpani. I'll be playing movements four and seven, recitative and canaries. I hope you enjoy uh, Elliot Carter's Symphony pieces.
Thank you. I'd like to close out the first half of this recital uh, with a concerto composed by Ney Rezoir. Um, it is perhaps one of my favorite pieces that I've worked on in my entire time here at Pitt State. I hope you really like it.
Thank you. I'll see you back after the center mission.
Thank you, and welcome back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that rendition of Stairway to Heaven, arranged by Nick Wirth. A little bit about this next piece. Um, I, throughout my percussion learning, have tended to neglect the snare drum, and it's been because I haven't found many pieces that I found particularly interesting, or ones that I really that really spoke to me. And Chick uh, by Nicholas Martinichow was the first real exception to that. And uh, it utilizes a sort of uh, technique that is uh, that comes from India uh, using the tabla and daga in which you dictate uh, what you're going to play. And so that, that will come up briefly uh, towards the end of the piece. I hope you like it.
Thank you. This next piece is going to be another one by Leonard Walters Dorfer. It utilizes both the marimba and vibraphone in tandem. I hope you enjoy Brain Change.
My next piece for you tonight is once again from Elliot Carter's Eight Pieces for Timpani. It is the first piece entitled Seita. And a little bit about this piece. Um, it is designed to pay homage to a, uh, a Celtic god who creates thunderstorms or, or rain by drawing back a bow and launching it into the clouds. And so there's a little bit of that tried to emulate in the music. I hope you enjoy Elliot Carter's Safe.
Thank you. Now this last piece um, has a lot of sentimental value to me. Uh, before coming to Pitt State, I was initially supposed to go to Longview Community College for two years and transfer to Rolla for an engineering degree. My senior year though, we got a new band director at Odessa and he inspired me to rekindle my love of music and he got me a audition here at Pittsburgh State University. This piece is the first piece that I played at Pittsburgh State University and it will be my last as well. I hope you enjoy Rain Dance by Alice Gomez. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you once again for coming and tuning in. Uh, I have one last piece for you. Uh, this is one that a lot of people might know, not know about me, but uh, when I was 16, I was going to quit music forever, and uh, I was cleaning my room, watching Weird Al Yankovic videos on YouTube, and during the celebrity circus, he was doing a sway pull routine, and on that sway pull, he was playing a polka on the accordion. And I saw that, and I thought, wow, I want to do that. And so for my 16th birthday, my mom got me this accordion and kept me in music and kept me from being an engineer, much to her chagrin. So this is one of the first songs that I learned how to play on the accordion. It's 12th Street Rag. I hope you like it. Thank you all for coming out. Have a good night.